Hello dear friends, today I will show you how to crochet a toy for Christmas tree or home decoration. I will be using 1.4 crochet hook, 100% cotton yarn, 169 meters and 50 grams, and gold yarn, 330 meters and 50 grams. And I will use double yarn. It depends what yarn you will choose, you will get different result. Let's get started crocheting. And I always say that crochet is an experiment. So let's crochet and don't be afraid to experiment. Here how it looks in gold yarn. In this case I used gold yarn in double half and 100% mercerized cotton yarn. This toy consists of two halves and I put fillers to get 3D volume. And please write comment below the video what you will get with this video tutorial. It can be perfect for Christmas tree. And let's look at the toy that I did using cotton yarn. In this case, I used two colors of yarn. And I remind you, you can use any colors and any kinds of yarn. Also, you can put leftovers yarn. Let's crochet the decoration. Make a chain of five. One, two, three, four. 5 and join the chain in the round by working a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. The ring is ready. Then single crochet twice into the ring 1, 2. Then I'm going to work by spiral direction. Then two half double crochet, one, two, and while doing my stitches, I remove the yarn. Then I'm going to work with double crochet. It should be eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Well done. I remind you, I am working by a spiral direction. Then I am going to work with two stitches into the each stitch of the previous round. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the back loop of the stitch. Work into the back loops. I insert the hook into the back loop and the third loop like this. One and two. I did two double crochet. Here what we have. This is the front loop and I work it into the back loop and the yarn. You can count or you can mark the first stitch of the second round.
Now in yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the next back loop at yarn and make double crochet twice. One, two, work into the back loop at the yarn. Here what we have. One and two. Continue. One and two. One. Let's repeat again the one. Let's check one and two. Our three loops are free. Then I'm going to work with reverse single crochet into the front loops. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I have done round two by spiral direction. Let's crochet round three. Before the beginning, I remove the stitch marker. Let's count six stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And insert the stitch marker into the sixth one. Here what we have. Now I continue the work. Work by spiral direction. I insert the hook into the back loop and yarn. Now I will alternate with make double crochet. And two double crochet into the next back loop and yarn. So my swatch will be a little bit strong. Work with double crochet. And two double crochet into the next back loop and stitch. So I continue working till the stitch marker. I have done all my stitches till the stitch marker. I have done two double crochet before the stitch marker. I remove the stitch marker. And now I show you how to make the straight motif that I did by spiral direction. Then make two half double crochet. Now I am working in the same way as I showed you before. So it means I will work with back loops and the yarn make the first one make the second one make two single crochet in a row one and two Then two single crochet into the next yarn and into the back loop one and two. One. 
Then single crochet. Into the next back loop and yarn and slip stitch into the next back loop and yarn. And here what we have. I don't cut off the yarn. Now I am working with the second motif. Now I am going to work with second motif. So I will not cut off the yarn. I will cut off the yarn in one motif, but in the another one was left. I take bright yarn or colorful. For this I take red color of yarn. I insert the hook into the front loop. Make a chain. So make a reverse single crochet into the each front loop of the stitch. I remind you, you should work only with front loops. So back loops are free in this case. So continue working in this way till the end of the spiral direction. I will make some more. I insert the hook, pull up a loop, pull through two loops. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two loops. And so on. After I have done the last reverse single crochet. I make a chain and pull. I have already cut off the yarn. I insert the hook into the middle. Take the working yarn, pull it through. And remove the yarn to the back side. I pull a little bit my the middle part like this and the middle hole is not visible so I will make the knot and pull a little bit You can cut off the yarn after this. It can be like a round candy for the Christmas tree. Or like just decoration. So I have just finished the second half of my decoration and now I show you how to join two motifs together to create a decoration. I take their backs together like this. I insert the hook into the back loop of the current motif and insert the hook into the second back loop. 
You should work with three loops in each motif. Make single crochet into the each two back loops. I insert the hook into two loops. Make single crochet. Insert the hook into the one loop. Insert the hook into the second loop. Make single crochet. Let's repeat one more. This is very simple. You should leave some space or some stitches to make 3D volume in our decoration. I put two, I put filler to inside of my motif. It can be cotton wool or just small piece of clothes. And of course, how much clothes or you put inside depends what shape you will get of your decoration. Here how it looks in my case. Now I continue working on my joining. I need to join this small piece. Then I will show you how to complete this round together. Make single crochet. Continue till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. I insert the hook into the single crochet. Insert the hook into the first stitch, make a slip stitch. My round is done. Now I'm going to work with chain. For the hanging this decoration on the Christmas tree or another part of my house. Make a chain of 25. You can make any amount 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Insert the hook into the next stitch, make a slip stitch. Make a chain, pull a little bit, pull up the working loop and cut off the yarn. Then I will show you how to remove the yarn. Now I show you how to remove the yarn. This is the yarn. Insert the sewing needle inside. You can remove the yarn with using crochet hook. In my case, I will use the sewing needle. So, and cut off the yarn here. So that's it, my decoration is ready. It consists of two halves and to make a bigger volume I put clothes or fillers to inside part of the toy or home decoration. Don't forget to subscribe to my page or channel, follow me in social media and of course crochet with me and learn more. And I remind you, it depends what yarn you will choose, you will get different result. It was Elena Rugal. Please write comment below the video what you will get with my video tutorials. Bye!
See you in the next video tutorial.